everyone, I am Erika of beadingschool.com and you are watching Coffee Time with Erika, my weekly BD broadcast. Today I would like to show you what kind of jewels we have designed for you from the Tatis' treasure box, the newest team box of the Beading School Academy. Before I would start showing you everything please let me know if you can hear me if you can see me i would love to know if everything is all right before i would say something important katie thank you so much i really appreciate it and hi corinne i hope you ladies are having some wonderful summery days Sarah is also here. Good to see you all. Ariana is here. Ludka is here. Wonderful. So after seeing what's inside the box, what was inside the box, before I would start working with it, we would start working with it. Now it's the highest time to see what kind of jewels can you make. Already a few were re revealed, but there are a lot more coming. I will start with some designs that I have put together for you. And then, of course, fellow members of the Beading School creative team, Zuzi and Veronica, were also hard at work designing for you. And I already have a jewel that I can show you from Gina of Orchid and Opal that she has put together. So those of you who are not familiar yet with Beading School Academy, it is a bi-monthly program where every two months we are exploring a different source of inspiration, working with a different assortment of beads. And yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun, especially the community part. I would say seeing everyone's jewels and creations. I love it when you also not just personalize the jewels that we are preparing for you, but also I am super happy to see that how many times it happens that you come up with your own ideas, to, you go out of your comfort zone and you experiment and play with the beads completely in your style of course there will be a mini challenge coming also focusing on the tatis's treasure box so keep those ideas coming keep playing i can't wait to see everything in the meanwhile i see also kata and miriam thank you miriam sherry and marian and christine and Debbie, Corinna has a very summery weather. Debbie is here. Marta, Nadine, Facebook user friend from the Beading School Club. Sherry, Sharon, welcome ladies. So let me take a sip of coffee and then let's get started. While I am showing you the jewels, then let's please focus on the jewels. And then if you have any other questions, then let's return to them at the end of the video. And I will be super happy to show you and tell you everything what you are curious about. Also, Orit, Alicia, Jessica, Faye, Joanne, Ula, Wanda, and a Facebook user friend from Texas. If I haven't said your name yet, then it means that I don't see your name. I like to greet everyone uh, in person. But if you are watching from the Beading School Club, then you might have to click the link above the video and enable my broadcasting program so it sees your name and your face. And then I can say, hi, Cindy, and hi, Gemma, and hi, Shona, and hi, Yosin, and hi, Brit Marie, and hi, everyone, let's see the jewels. <laughs> so I'm excited. I have, I, have, I have been working a lot on the jewels during the past couple of weeks, and also, of course, Susie and Veronica. So I really hope that you will see, you will like what you see. So let's start with the first signature jewel the, uh, for which the tutorial is actually already available. And 
and many of you have already beat it. I loved seeing that not only did you uh, did you play with the beads from the Tatis's treasure box, but you, in some cases you even put together your own colors. So that was super nice to see. So this is Tatis's treasure in not one but three color combinations that I have made. The turquoise and silver one comes from the box and I wanted to show you all three that I have made because there are some tiny differences. In the middle of the original one there is a six millimeter round pearl attached from the bottom as shown in the tutorial. I didn't finish this yet. I did not make a decision. It might become a brooch or it might stay a pendant as the other two, but let's see. I don't want to make a hasty decision. The second one that I beaded was the yellow and gray one that is the color combination from Pantone. And here I wanted to show you that you can also use a Preciosa faceted pearl in the middle. So that's another option. You don't have to stick to the round, smooth pearl that is in the original. Only the size is important that you say stay with the six millimeter size. Uh, and then there is a third one, red and blue, and a tiny bit of gray and green, actually. And here I attached a six millimeter Preciosa Suwon rhinestone in the middle instead of a round pearl. I wanted to make this more blingy and try another attachment. So while for the pearl, or the faceted round, you find the instructions in the tutorial. The Suwon rhinestone, that is just a simple step back and forth through the rhinestone, attaching it to the round 11 seed beads on this side. Uh, no tricky parts there. I see in the meanwhile also Gunnel and Margareta and Martina and Cynthia is here and Robina is here and Gisela and Antoinette and Tanya is here. I'm glad you are you could all make it today. So this is how from the side I hope you see that there are no extra beads between the Preciosa Suwon rhinestone and between that smallest middle circle I was only going back and forth uh, two times through each hole of the Suwon rhinestone and attaching it to the round 11s. The six millimeter Preciosa Suwons will be, will be actually restocked during this week because we are running low a little bit thanks to the flowery bracelet, I think. So on Friday or Saturday, there should be no new six millimeter Preciosa Suwons coming. If you are missing at the moment some colors that you like, then don't worry, they might be restocked before the special deal would be over. So this was Tatis, the main jewel from the box. It's also the one that is on the top of the box. So I hope you enjoyed beating this and I hope that you will keep playing with the design. Let's see what is the next one. So this next one that I have beaded, it is a bracelet. This is not the other signature jewel uh, yet. It is accompanying it. It is matching the second signature jewel. But actually, this is where it started. So first I beaded the bracelet. I will show you the earring a little bit later. And the bracelet is a combination of two different 
elements. I needed three of the long motifs. There is always a six millimeter, so one rhinestone in the middle, attached to the Miyuki twist beads, four millimeter fire polished beads, half tila beads. And what I really like, this element where I cover the ends where the Miyuki twist beads meet. And then in between these long elongated motifs, there are square stitch bezeled nacre cabochons. The square stitch bezel tutorial is available for free on the blog and also between the free tutorials. If you haven't beaded one yet, then I really recommend trying it out because it really enriches your like skills what you can do in beading and gives you more options how you can play with your beads. Of course, this motif can also be used as a long earring. I think it would be really nice and elegant. Or imagine it as a connector, maybe on the sides of a Tatis motif or something else. Uh, so that's just another option what you can do with it. I used here the clasp garden clasp that is included in the fuchsia box. And I think it matches the Greek mythology theme very well. So I'm really happy that you like this one. Robina says the construction looks so cool. Thank you so much, Robina and everyone. I was very uh, happy when beading this. I was beading this during my recent vacation. And let's see the matching earring that is the second signature jewel in the Tatis's treasure box. And well, the Tatis's treasure box it's inspired by Greek mythology, but in fact, I wanted to focus on something specific from the world of Greek mythology. So when I was selecting the beads and components for you, then I was thinking about all kinds of creatures and deities connected to the waters, to the Aegean Sea. So when I finished, beading the bracelet then of course this thought of like the question of like okay what would happen if i put the miyuki's twist compo uh, elements all around the suwon rhinestone for a race so what would happen if i tried to do that and then i ended up with this funny shaped, shaped uh, motif that became an earring. And while I was mentioning that the box is in fact inspired by uh, deities and creatures connected to the waters and the seas is because the shape reminds me of a boat or of an anchor. So that's why I that's why I stayed actually with this shape. I also tried beading a square where I attached also two more Miyuki twists on the top of the motif. So you can actually make a square of it, but I wanted to show you a variation. And it can be also, of course, a pendant if you are not into earrings, but it looks super cool as an earring, I think. <laughs> Oh, Wanda is waiting for her box. That's such an exciting time. Hope you will enjoy it very much. <laughs> Tanya already had the idea of combining the element, the long element with the pendant. I'm curious to see that. <laughs> and hi, Cheryl. Cynthia says it looks like an arrow for her. And Ginny says, hi, Ginny. It looks like also stingray. So true. Oh. 
<laughs> and Kathy likes the twisted boggles. <laughs> and Cheryl says, I love the way the rectangle wing just gives it enough bling. Is there is there such thing that enough bling? But in fact, yeah, this is this is this is this is good as it is, I think. Uh, there are, by the way, like different kinds of connectors coming in your boxes. So yours might be a rhombus shape or a square shape, might be light blue, dark blue, or crystal clear as mine. So that will also be fun to see the little variations. <laughs> Miriam said, never enough bling. Ginny shares Miriam's thoughts. <laughs> so I have in my little treasure box, I have two more jewels ready for you. Okay, I was lying. The jewels are not ready. So this is part of a bracelet that we are going to be during a no one has to be the lone workshop, one of these upcoming Fridays and the motif it has a gem duo bead in the middle and there are also tila beads and half tila beads around the gem duo the motifs are not big so it's quick to bead and I connected them with crystal connectors and it is going to be a bracelet for me but of course it can again be an earring or a little pendant as you wish. Tanya says it looks like a pillow. Martina says what a cutie. I'm glad you like it. The gem duo is a little bit covered by the half tillas, so it's not the usual look. And you can really emphasize uh, the look of it by selecting the color of the Delica beads on the top and at the bottom of the of the gem duo and then i have one more in my little in my little box and you know when i say like yay the academy is great you get tutorials then what i promise is one tutorial for or yellow and turquoise level students and two tutorials for a fuchsia level students but usually it's more so the last one that i would like to show you i'm actually going to publish the tutorial right away after our meeting today and i would love to give it as a gift to everyone to all our students who are currently members of our beading school academy or who become a member of the beading school academy uh, during this team i am really grateful for your trust and for your community, for all the inspiration and kindness that you bring to beading school and especially to the beading school club. So already when I was beading this, then I, I knew that I wanted to make you happy with this and give it to you as a little extra. So this is a nearly finished earring that I have for you and this is actually technically one of the one of my favorite designs from the box the reason is that there are tila beads in this but and it would work it already worked when there were only the tila beads but then I kept going and I just love the effect created by the net of seed beads on top of the tila beads and in between the gem duos. So I thought that you will love it. So after the after the broadcast, I will I will publish the tutorial so you can download it right away and start using your tilas and gem duos. I know that those are types of beads that very often you have in many, many colors in your own stashes, and you don't need that many for this little motif. So this will be a good stash buster for you. And yeah, sorry, sip of coffee. I need something warm for my throat. After having COVID, my throat is 
quite sensitive still. All the other symptoms are luckily gone, but my throat is still misbehaving. So yeah, coffee, coffee. I, I know tea would also be nice, but yeah, coffee for me. Oh, Terry says, this is me all the way. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> Robin says it looks like a clamshell. <laughs> Sunshine also sees the re uh, reminiscence to a uh, shell. Thank you, ladies. As you can see, just to finish talking about this motif, as you can see, I did not attach an acre, the um, something to the ear stud yet. So the ear stud is included in your box too. And what I love about this tie that you can glue on a nacre cabochon and you can really match your ear stud, even your finding to the jewel that you are working on. So if you have also other colors of the Naker cabochons, or you pick up some while we have the 20% discount for them this week, then you can glue it on on this flat ear stud and personalize even your, even your finding. So these were my jewels for you, but I have a lot more. Let's start with Zuzi's pieces. You already know one of Zuzi's pieces because she shared the tutorial with you for last week's No One Has To Be The Lawn. So this is called Acropolis, the building and the earring. So at first when I was writing about the Tatis's treasure box. Then I said in a post that there are building blocks of the Greek architecture included in the box. And Zuzi took this very literally and she built the Acropolis from the milky twist beads and some seed beads. And I think it's really cute. And I loved that some of you made it actually into a bracelet. And I think this is like a simple looking, clean, but such a genius design. You can go really far with it. Check out the last page of Susie's tutorial with the ideas because this is really nice to play with. And oh, thank you for your kind words, Robina. <laughs> and Amanda oh, says she can start all things in my stash already. And Cheryl is asking if the ear stud would work with an L2 navet. Actually, anything that has a flat backside can be glued on the ear stud. So you can really personalize it, Cheryl. <laughs> Siri says, I love fringes. It's really pretty. By the way, I always tell you that all you need for your beading is, I mean, like uh, the beading thread is Fireline. The only difference is where I don't recommend using Fireline is the fringe part because the fringe needs to be softer to really hang nicely. So there you need thread. We don't have thread at the moment in the beading school bead shop, but it will come in different colors in a few weeks. So don't worry if you don't have that yet. And Maria, hi, thanks for joining. And I think this is uh, very special to some of our readers, including Maria here. <laughs> So let's see another one of Zuzi's designs. <laughs> so unfortunately, I did not remember the names of the designs. Most of our designs this month are named after uh, narrates, sea nymphs from Greek mythology. <laughs> and I'm not that good at remembering them. However, this is a design that even if not the name, then I I really remember 
how it looks because this is so cool how Zuzi created the little square and then filled it with the, with the Tila beads and the gem duos. Such a cutie and perfect as earrings. And as you can see, Zuzi already used her nacre cabochons. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it looks like. Miriam is asking if there will be enough twist buggles for all the projects in the box. Uh, very good question. And I have used one bag for my bracelet and for my earrings. So I had enough for those. And then I will publish the material list for everything. Also, after the broadcast, the article is just waiting to be published it's prepared for you so then you can create mini kits for yourself so you always have enough in your boxes for the signature jewels and then some more but sometimes you need to make decisions because for example if zuzi and also gina or Ruxandra, who also designs for uh, the beading school academy they all use buggle beads then uh, Bugle, buggle, bugle. <laughs> then sometimes you need to make a decision that which one do you want to beat. So uh, I really recommend what I love seeing is when you create mini kits, some fellow beaders took pictures of their mini kits, how they are preparing for a team. So today when I publish the material lists, go over the material lists, lists and start preparing mini kits for you. So then you can calculate what you have and uh, where you need to maybe just add a bead or two from your own stash. So that's the best what you can do, I think. So Zuzi is indeed on fire, as Kata says with this watery team <laughs> and you haven't even seen this one yet and I can't even decide that which one is my favorite from Zuzi this month okay usually I can't decide but this is so airy and beautiful so this is this is a wonderful design too Jill is asking, I have not used many bugles. Are there any concerns about them breaking when used in bracelets? I have a good experience with them. I don't use the regular bugle, bugles. I like using the slim ones and I like using now the twist bugles that I have been testing for the past uh, few months. So I would skip bugles when I see that in the bag they are already a little little bit chipped then put those aside throw them away that happens every once in a while but otherwise don't worry they are nice little beads especially these newer types from Miyuki Vanda is asking, I love this. Do these designs become available for sale on the website today? Dear Vanda, they will be available gradually. So what is happening when we are making a team is that we don't have the material itself. I mean, we as the designers very much in advance because it takes really a long time to get together everything. It's a huge operation. So during the first week or two, we design a lot. And then when the designs are, are done and we select the ones which we would like to draw as tutorials, then we make them gradually. We can make one or two every week. It is quite work intense and we like to do it, right? So they become available gradually. Tatis is already available. Acropolis is available. Today, the gift one will be available. And then over the next um, month, they will become available. So you, can, or, uh, you will always have something to look forward to. And... 
Oh, Tanya says, I loved the box already and now I'm seeing all these beauties we can uh, make with it. I love it even more. I'm so happy, Tanya. Then let's see the next one from Zuzi because she has more. So what we haven't beaded yet from a box, and I think it will be super cool for the summery days, is a ring. So Zuzi used one of the 10 millimeter uh, cabochons that is included paired with some gem duos and with some half tilas. So this is a quick little ring that she designed for you and it's super nice and elegant. So this is also coming during this team. So these were Susie's designs and all Brit Marie is happy for the ring. And let's see what Veronica was working on. Of course, if you are not into rings, then you can make it into an earring. And Terry has a great idea. She says, this is a cute ring, but also would make a great connector in pieces too. Great, Susie. Indeed. Miriam says, it's incredible. <laughs> Cheryl says, the ring is the loveliest. I hope Susie will watch this afterwards. She's not here now, but I hope that she will watch this and hear and read all your compliments. And let's see Veronka's piece. So Veronka went for the biggest cabochon that is included in the box. And she was working with the 25 millimeter pressed glass cabochon. And she created a bezel using fire polished beads, Miyuki seed beads, and even some of the Preciosa faceted rounds. So this is also something that's going a little bit later during our team. I really love the bezel. I really love how those petal shapes are holding down the cabochon and Veronica is getting really good at bezeling and creating different types of bezels. <laughs> so this was from Veronica. Veronica challenged herself for a big piece. I've also motivated her. <laughs> so. <laughs> This is really a beautiful one. I can't wait to beat this. And then I also have a picture that I can show to you from Gina of Orchid and Opal. She also received her box already. So what Gina did is that she created a pendant using the 12 millimeter cushion cut from Preciosa. And she created a, a necklace to go with it from the Miyuki twist beads. And the little elements from the Miyuki twist beads and from the round 15 seed beads is, it looks like a little column in Greek architecture especially emphasized by the pressed glass bicon beads. I think it looks really cool. And I can also imagine one element as a cute little earring. So there are, again, many possibilities. <laughs> so I'm really glad that you like this. <laughs> Martina likes the chain. Robina likes the colors of the cushion cuts that are at the, in the bead shop. Ariana says it looks like pillars. <laughs> Sherry likes the rope. <laughs> Sherry says, going to need more bugles. I think we reordered all of them yesterday, so... <laughs> Don't worry, there will be more coming. They are already available. They are already uploaded to the beach shop. But we will be getting more also. So, lovelies, do you have any questions about the designs that you can create this month from the uh, Beading School Academy team box? 
I will, after the video, activate the blog post with the material list list so you can get ready. I don't have the material list from Gina yet, but I have everything else so you can start preparing. I will also publish the tutorial for the gift tutorial for you. And a bit of general information. So this week is International Beading Week, which is a big uh, worldwide celebration of beadwork. And this year it is focusing on jewels inspired by wildflowers from all around the world. And this is, as an, uh, I am one of the ambassadors of International Beading Week. And this is the design that I have created this year to uh, for everyone from uh, every beader to enjoy and since the beading week already started then i already published the tutorial you can download it from the beading school bead shop but if you would like to bead it together and i would love it if we could bead this together then on friday this is our new topic for no one has to bead alone so I hope that you will join me on Friday. In the meanwhile, by the way, yesterday we also added new colors of the little flower uh, beads. These are the eight new colors. So if you don't have them yet, then you might want to check it out. They are super nice. I love the Picasso effects especially. And Another contribution of Beading School to International Beading Week is that until next week, Tuesday, Coffee Time with Erica, you can enjoy a nice 20% discount for all Preciosa crystals and Nacre pearls that we have at Beading School, excluding the cup chains. So we have a lot. It's more than a thousand and a hundred different types. And this week, the treasury ladies and gentlemen, because we all also have a new team member gentlemen in the treasury, they are working hard on restocking and uploading new Preciosa crystals and nacres. So today they were restocking Preciosa nacre pearls and nacre cabochons. And every day something else will be coming. The discount is valid until next week, Tuesday. And we make it comfy for you. You don't need a coupon code. Automatically, it is applied to all crystals that are mm, eligible for the discount. So as you can see, there is always this little pink sale icon next to the product that is next to the bead or cabochon that is in the special deal and you can see the price reduced for example of these preciosa pure chatons in peridot they it was reduced from 199 to 159. i would also like to mention to our us beaders that since the conversion course between euros and you uh, and uh, american dollars was shifting in favor of the united of your dollars a lot then while before one dollar 20 was one euro now it's about equal so you can actually shop for a lot uh better currency exchange rate so now pretty much one euro is one dollar so it's really worth to take advantage of this deal also because of this change in the currency rate and yeah do you have any questions left there will be bicons coming this week also, and cabochons, and even Preciosa connectors. So a lot to 
look forward to. I'm just checking the comments to see if anyone has any more questions left. Nadine says she can't be here with Friday, but she got her box and she's excited. So oh, Brit Marie is asking for more time. Dear Brit Marie, as soon as I will have the feeling that I have too much time, I will like <laughs> send it to you all. <laughs> so if there are no more questions, then thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, and thank you so much for all the jewelry pictures in the club. And I'm looking forward to be with you the bracelet on Friday. Ariana, I see your question. Ariana is asking if the 20% discount is uh, also valid for the fuchsia boxes. The fuchsia boxes are already for a very good value. So there, there uh, we could not apply extra 20%. Those are already for the best possible price that we can offer you. So if there are no more questions, then thank you so much for today and happy beading and wishing you lots of uh, inspiration and ideas. Bye bye.